What's going on everybody? My name is Shadox Films and today is going to be something a little bit different. So instead of picking out a specific topic, researching it, writing a script, I am just looking at a few notes on some points that I want to hit on and so I'm going to be rambling a lot today. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this video. These style of videos are a lot easier for me to produce and upload versus some of the other things that you know take time for me to get footage of, research, write a script, record throw together a video, and then upload. So, first off, where the hell have I been? Uh, school, to be honest. Uh, so I am in my third year of my bachelor's program. I'm working on a degree in aerospace engineering. I did my first two years at a community college, got my associate's degree. And so this last semester was actually my first uh, semester at a larger university. Took some really difficult classes uh, around October time frame. Wasn't doing too well in a few of those classes. I think I had like low C's in two of them. So I had to put my nose to the grindstone, focus more on school instead of creating content. I think that was right around the time frame that the Turning Tides videos first went up um, for K Palace and Akibaba and the service assignments. Um, Next semester should be a little bit more relaxed. I have two aerospace classes and then some English literature uh, electives. So hopefully I'll be able to create more content on a regular basis. Uh, I do plan on streaming more to my personal Twitch. Uh, so I'll put my link to, to my Twitch down in the description. Uh, currently every Friday night I do stream to uh, twitch.tv slash clan AOD stream. Uh, that's the gaming community that I'm a part of. A bunch of really good guys. So that's something I plan on doing. I do plan on creating uh, a lot more videos on this channel. Going more into the history of weapons, some of the maps. Uh, I'm actually going to be taking a trip out to the World War I Museum in Kansas City. So hopefully I will have footage for that up here shortly. No promises on exactly when that's going uh, to be. So just keep an eye out. So some other stuff I wanted to talk about today is um, some of the, the, the future aspects of Battlefield. Some of my critiques and what I really feel Battlefield 2018 needs to have. So uh, one of my biggest complaints with Battlefield 1 was the weapon system. Um, currently we have weapons with different variants and so each variant is its own weapon. Uh, this leads to a lot of variants being unused because they are just not as good as one specific variant. Like, for example, the M1907. Um, people will use the sweeper. I have never been killed by the trench or the storm, with the exception of just recently people working on the weapon unlocks, 25 kills with the trench. That's the only time I've ever used it. And, you know, it's, it, it, it's a shame because... Uh, each one of those weapon variants takes development time to create. Uh, I personally would like to see a return to one weapon with multiple attachments that you can unlock, similar to, you know, pretty much every other Battlefield before Battlefield 1. You know, Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 3. So hopefully we'll see a return to that, uh, more customization. Uh, because it really is a it, it is a shame. There are some interesting weapons that I would like to use. They just don't suit my playstyle. Um, the Sub Slaughter 1906 is a good example. That weapon is a lot of fun to use. I just hate it because it doesn't suit my playstyle. And I wish that there were something that there was something that I could do to make it fit my playstyle, similar to like the uh, the M16A4 in Battlefield 4. A lot of people did not like that weapon just because it was burst fire. For me, slapped a uh, muzzle brake on there uh, through, it wasn't an angle foregrip, it was a vertical foregrip, laser sight, and, you know, whatever sight that I used at the time. And I could go toe to toe with an AEK on that. Uh, I really enjoyed that weapon. And,. I was able to take that weapon and make it fit my playstyle. Um, I was definitely someone who couldn't control my aim as, as well as I can now back then. Uh, so that muzzle brake really helped me, you know, reel in that vertical recoil. 
Uh, it still it still bugs me that the muzzle brake controlled vertical recoil and the compensator controlled side to side recoil in Battlefield 4. It should be the other way around, but that's in the past. Oh well. Uh, so what else do we we got here on my notes? Uh, community missions and some of the progression aspects of Battlefield. So. The, I'll start with the progression aspects. Uh, about the next Battlefield really needs to have long-term goals that we can work towards. Uh, Battlefield 4 had some of the, you know, the uh, the elite dog tags, I want to call them. They were the ones that you could really only start at at level 100, and they took a while to get. There were, ever, there were other weapon assignments that, you know, were pretty difficult. There was the, uh, the gold magnum comes to mind. I had to learn how to snipe just to get that weapon. I remember it took me about two weeks to get the gold magnum just because I was so bad at sniping. But you know that that the time I spent trying to unlock it, I still have that with me because it's it's something that I worked for and I felt really rewarded when I actually got it. Now we just have every time you level up you get a certain number of war bonds and you can spend those to get the weapons. That's not very exciting. Granted, with the DLC weapons, they have introduced some unlock requirements. Uh, the Turning Tides weapons, they really dumbed down the requirements just because so many people were complaining about, oh, the last weapon unlock assignments were too difficult. I paid money for this game. Why do I need to, to unlock something? I hate that sort of a mentality. Give me something to work for so I don't get bored with this game. That's how you build long playtime, uh, long, uh, long-term long player count. So I would like to see, you know, more difficult assignments, even if it's for, you know, a random skin or something like that. Give me something prestigious that I can work for. Um, you know, a another good example of this is the weapon skins. You know, currently you have to hope that you get lucky with a battle pack or hope that it goes up on exchange and you have enough scraps to get a skin that you want. Uh, I would like to see you be able to get a skin for a certain weapon just by using that weapon. So, like, uh, let's take the Automatico, for example. You know, first 100 kills, cool, you get a, you know, a, a white skin or whatever. You know, at 250, maybe, you know, a blue skin or whatever. And then on your 500, get a legendary skin. I would like to see that store, uh, that sort of a uh, progression element as far as the weapon skins go. I think that would be a lot more engaging and really show off how much you like that weapon versus, you know, just service stars. Because granted, you know, 100 service stars, yeah, you see that on a few weapons. But um, I think having a special skin like let's say you know the uh the new rnas skin for the farquhar hill i got it on a battle pack uh two days ago and i only have like one surface star with it i barely use the thing i'm probably not going to use it that much i'll probably just go back to using the fetter off but i would like to have you know those legendary skins to show that i worked my ass off with that weapon so those are some of the things that I hope are in the next battlefield. Um, there's really no telling. We do still have one more DLC to go for Battlefield 1, that being Apocalypse. They're, they've been pretty tight-lipped about it. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but as soon as I do, you guys will know. Um, I do have some guesses on what maps we might see. Uh, so I'm going to guess we will see the, the Battle of the Ypres. Um, Maybe Caporetto. I don't know about Caporetto though. They mention it in the uh, Iron Walls operations when you're on Monte Grappa, because uh, they state, you know, after the the defeat at Caporetto, we have never been the same or anything like that. I don't know. I would also kind of like to see the Battle of Bello Wood, just because as a Marine, I'm you know that 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 battle has a little bit of more significance to me, but we'll we'll see. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up for now. I want to thank everybody who is still watching. Um, if you are not subscribed, uh, I would really appreciate if you do so. If you do enjoy my videos, I'm not going to ask anybody that doesn't enjoy me to subscribe or anything like that. Check me out on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash shadoxfilms. Uh, check out my Twitter. I usually throw out a, a few tweets whenever news comes out, and I hope to see you guys soon. Until then, 
My name is Shadox Holmes, and I hope to see you on the battlefield.